the fact that there's a coffee festival, I'm always concerned small guys don't get an opportunity to really showcase their talents. Is that what you're going after for this festival? What we saw last year at the coffee festival made us want to be a participant in this year's one. A great opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one with people who actually want to be there. Um, well, the whole ethos behind the festival to start with was give the little guys a chance to shine through like Weta, who are doing new and exciting things down there, with an education focus obviously ranging from where does our bean come from to how we roast it compared to the other guy, to what it tastes like and why it tastes like that. And coffee, we've found a way to put it in everything, so it's all there. That's the beauty of what we have nowadays, is being able to go and meet people and say, this is the guy doing my coffee, this is the guy making my vodka, and I think it's fantastic that we live in a time where you can actually start doing that again because I know 10 years, 15 years ago when you were drinking black water, you didn't even know where it came from. Sometimes it was called coffee, it wasn't even coffee. Whether it be uh, our beers or, or our coffee or, or our vegetables, or we're, we're wanting to go back to the source and really have the option or have the choice. Coffee Festival, Shed 10, you guys should come along. Sweet ass. Sweet ass. Sweet ass. Sweet bro. <laughs> There's a mystery here, you have to go and see it. You should be there. I mean, come, we're going to be there. Luke's going to be there. There you go. Wait, I was going to be there.